14%. Es wird aber noch klein. Ah, nee, okay. <laughs> I thought I pressed record. I just can't give up. Come to love from where I started from. Nobody told me the road. He bought me this far to leave me. I can't see it, but I just thought that this song would be fitting, guys. Like, through the trials and tribulations, I finally posted a video. to the first episode of one on the Tutti Amha channel, baby. I am Tuto, a final year electrical engineering student who loves Hawaiian and created this channel to educate you and me on fermented juice. So I'm not a sommelier or sommelier. I'm just a wine enthusiast, a woman who loves her wine. So please do go on Instagram where you'll find this picture right here with a questions box. Let me know what you want me to review next. And don't forget to do the famous LCS. Like, comment, and subscribe. And do click on the notification button so that you can be notified of when I post a new video. The formalities out the way. Let us get right into it. So today we are going to be reviewing a wine that I used to drink during my first, I think first or second year of varsity. This was my go-to wine during my ups, my downs, my pre-drinks moment. It was that wine. And that is Niedenberg's Duet, a blend of Pinotage and Shiraz, 56% Shiraz and 34% of Pinotage. Back then it was ranging for 45 rands, but now I think 40 to 45 rands if I'm not mistaken. Now it's 55 rands. Still within the budget of a student or whoever was on a budget. So yeah, let us admire this beauty through the glass. And bear in mind that on this channel, we do not waste alcohol. We don't you know, sip and then goggle and refill. No, we don't do that. We don't waste anything. So let's get right into it. Drinking time. So let us drink. This wine, this glass wine, I'm saying this wine, this wine glass. I used to use it to drink my rest days. And it's still standing right here. So let's admire this beauty through the glass, do the famous swirl. This one, this glass is very dirty. Let me take another one. Let's take another one. Let's do the famous. So we don't want to pour too much. Let's do the famous swirl. Obviously, it's ruby red in color. There are those medium, like you can see that it's medium bodied, just by swirling it through the glass. And it does say medium to full body, but I say it's more medium. It's very acidic. <laughs> acidic, acidic, acidic. Black fruit, obviously. But here it does say berry fruit. So I'm smelling more plum. Mm, and also the berry fruit, as they say, like the cherry, strawberries, the works. And now there is a bit of oak there. And then now there's the taste. Mm. It's like gives me, you know, like like an explosion of flavor, and then just 
that's how quickly it bites. Like when you first sip it, the tannins are there, but like after you swallow it, it just dies out. Like a lot of the, of the flavors die out. It's a very simple wine. Like it's just straightforward. So you can have it like during the week or you can have it. You, like if someone was offering me this plus or this wine, I wouldn't mind it at all. It's an okay wine. It's very straightforward, but I would pair it with more of your greasy foods like your burger or your ribs you know but here it says you can pair it with your mediterranean meat dishes such as spicy lamb kebabs and so forth no this is the kind of wine that you drink when you're having those greasy things or maybe like drink a fry also wouldn't mind it with your like your chakalaka and your your rolls sausages the works you get me so yeah overall for 14 percent it's value for money can't really say much about it because it's just a simple it's not complex doesn't have textbook worthy um, flavors into it so yeah i would give it a four or even a 3.5 because there are better wines on the market but for its price it is the one yeah we have come to the end of the video thank you for watching thank you for clicking on this video don't forget to like subscribe